Hey guys, this is Chandra, and I'm here to show you some of the crafty stuff that I received for Christmas from friends, family, coworkers. Um, and I also, you know, some people got me gift cards, so I picked out some stuff myself. And I'll try to remember where I got everything, but I'm going to start with the heaviest thing first. And I'm just taking off the label. Um, I got a hundred pack of watercolor cards and envelopes. They are five by seven. So it's the cold press Strathmore. Mm -hmm. So they're five by seven. So what I've been doing is cutting them and using them um, to practice um, some sunsets and stuff like that. So that was from my BFF Kelly. And the other thing she got me is stationery. So now I am going to go with these. It's hard for me to find craft card stock, the 12 by 12 craft card stock. So I was at uh, Walmart and I decided to try the color blocks, um, 12 by 12 craft card stock. I took a sheet out and, um, I wanted to see how, how it worked, how it folded. It is very nice. It's, it's thick. I don't know what weight this is, but this is at Walmart. It's $5 for 30 sheets. Mm, it doesn't say what weight it is. I don't know, but it's it's pretty thick. So I really like that because I like my cardstock to be thick. I don't like that flimsy crap. Um, so let's run through this. I got some quick dry, quick dry adhesive. Just, you know, this is just regular stuff that I needed. I got a whole spool of two millimeter elastic, and this is by Darice. Um, my husband got it off of Amazon, but I make my, you know, full dories or whatever, and I was using the elastic from the sewing section, which isn't really this thick. So I'm going to go through and restrand all my elastics. I got some PB PVA glue. I got some magnetic discs. Um, these are from Basic Gray. I've got the small ones and the large ones. You could never have too many magnets. Um, I got some anchors. I'm working on an album right now that has uh, an anchor motif, the red, blue, and uh, white. So there's a pirate ship. And this was from the Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. Um, got an anchor gem. I love my owls, so I got my owl gem. And those are from Hobby Lobby, as well as these spare parts. These are little roses. Uh, they're paper, so I can spray them. Uh-oh. My timer's on so I can stir my ham and beans. Okay. Shut up. How do you turn it off? Okay. So, um, I got some white and black. Some pink and red. And I got some blue. Um... Got some owls, and here are they. These were in the wood section. My son has to do a project, so we were in the wood section looking at wood and um, saw these, so I had to get them. Um, these are from Joann's. I wanted some more embossing folders, and I don't know that I've ever needed wood, but I thought, well, they were half off. I got the wood, but I got the larger size um, for this just because I don't like the sides not being embossed on my stuff. So here is a polka dot one with big polka dots and little polka dots. You can see my camera. And then some snowflakes. There we go. Um, I got some foam mounting tape. I saw a tutorial on following the paper trail where she takes silicone baby nipples, uses foam tape, puts them around the top of this, and it's like a teeny tiny stream of glue and it never clogs up because of the silicone. So you'll have to go watch that um, video for that. I got some wood veneer animals. They have chickens and cows and pigs and horses. And I know you think, what the heck? No, it's kind of a joke because a girl at work, she does scrapbook. Um, her daughter's into 4-H. So I always tease her about FarmersOnly.com and, um, you know, so I'm going to make something. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm working on something. So then a friend at work got me a bunch of 
cutesy stuff to put in albums. This is actually a present album. It's got an acrylic cover. It's by the Little Yellow Bicycle. Oh my god, I can't hardly see. And it's a present shape. It's a little mini album. I don't know that I would use this part. Maybe I'll cut it off. Um, but it's still very nice. Um, some Outdoor by Heather Tozy with... I don't know, GCD Studios. They're um, metal rimmed glass brads. Those are pretty cute. I do have some pictures when my parents used to take my kids camping, so maybe I can do something with those. These are Melody Ross Designer Collection Soul Food Journal Prompt Stickers. Um, and this is by the GCD Studios as well. So these would be really cute on some mixed media. Here's an Autumn Leaf Stampology. Um, this is... Wellies and Brellies. So it's like a um, April showers type motif going on. Here are some designer Melody Ross layered flowers and all different colors and shapes. Some office tabs. Oh, these are cute. I thought even if I didn't like the motif on them, I could kind of trace them out and make some new tabs for my planner. Some big bling and some stickers. Um, I also got some more owl stickers. Um, two different kinds. I'm trying to hold them up so the light doesn't blinded me some more anchors um for my mini album i'm working on did i go through these yes okay so then my husband got me a whole bolt of this craft text this is 100 and 100 it's 10 and a half yards by 19 inches this is by c and k publishing and he got this on amazon i don't think it was 70 bucks it says it's 70 bucks there but i don't think it was that much and then he got me black and then I got some patterned paper, which I'm already side cuts with the view, ahoy, something. I don't know, but it's really cute. It's not kitschy um, anchor. It's kind of really, I don't know, cute. So then my husband got me the Koi Watercolors Pocket Field Sketch Box. I love these colors. And it comes with a um, water pen there so i've been working on some watercolors and then he also got me the derwent ink tents um pencils there's 24 in here i really like these these are thicker i mean just like the barrel is even thicker than a regular pencil um but they are very very vibrant so i really like those and i think that concludes my crafty christmas haul so have a great day guys bye